Just west of Sodus Point lies the former site of the Maxwell Settlement, known then as the Colored Settlement during the early 1800s. The community was home to freed slaves and people seeking freedom. We certainly know that we've got, you know, some, some, some rich history back there. The Newports are just one of many families part of the former black settlement in Sodus Point. And the Newports were related to oh, 75, 85 percent of them. Yeah. Yeah. This fifth generation of Newports came together on a video call to talk about their history. They, they were all great family people, generally farmers, etc. Little remains of the settlement today, but the 60-acre community formed in 1813 after a number of enslaved women, men, and children were freed following the death of Peregrine Fitzhugh. But it existed at the, as home and touchstone in the lives of hundreds of African Americans from the early 1800s through the first quarter of the 20th century and beyond. While descendants of the settlement still live in the Sodus Point area, many moved away to places like Rochester. The generations closest to us began to finish school and get educated. They came to this area to be, have a better life, and they, you know, they certainly wanted this, this generation to have a better life. And I know, as far as I was concerned, that's probably one of the things that drove me to get the education. and and the, to the work that I did. Robert Newport went on to work for the Xerox Corporation, and his brother Gus became mayor of Berkeley, California. Aside from successful careers, the brothers say the Newport family is all about good work ethic and treating people right, a trait that likely started at the Maxwell Settlement. My, you know, my mother, my grandmother, both grandmothers, my father, they all instilled to, uh, in us, you know, do right by people, treat them fair, don't be disrespectful, and, you know, make something of your life. life. Yeah. And that legacy lives on today through the younger generations. Thank you guys for joining us here. And so does Point. Lowell Rose, Spectrum News.